What's going on with it, Clint? You already know the vibes. We back at it again, once again, with another reaction. Now, today's reaction is a little bit different just because, I don't know, man. I just watched this interview from The Breakfast Club with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. And Will Smith says something that's, that's just, it really hit me, man, because as an artist and a creative, man, you go through these growing phases in your life. And um, he said something that really resonated with me. And I'm like, you know, I want to get my insight about it. But I first want you guys to listen to what he's saying. But I definitely want to give my opinion and some of the situations that I've had where I had to kind of like, you know, really lean on integrity and how I felt at the moment. And a lot of those times when I did that, you know, outside looking in, it was like, I know like my wife and other people like, what, why you didn't take that money? Or why you didn't do that? Or why you just didn't do this? And it was kind of more so like, it's because I felt like that wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? And and to hear Will Smith talk about that, it kind of, it, I'm, I'm grateful because you know, when you're creative, you kind of just, a lot of times, man, you're going off how you feel at that moment and what you think is best for you. But uh, it takes a different type of person to kind of let you know, like, you know, I'm not necessarily in it for for what y'all think y'all want out of it for me. I'm in it for what I want out of it for myself. I don't know if I broke that down right, but if you get it. But basically, like, you just standing on, on your integrity, man. You standing on what you believe and you kind of just doing what's best for you and not what's best for the people that think they can gain something from it or for doing it because of numbers or doing it because of money, you kind of just doing it because it makes you feel good. And so um, I want to watch this with you guys. And I want to, at the end, I'm going to give my little insight, man. And I want to say I'm grateful to have a dope wife, man, to be able to, the amount of money I done turned down from fashion to music, you know, it's been times where I know I've told her like, nah, that's that's not cool. I really don't want it. I don't think that's going to be like beneficial for, for me. And I even, sometimes even for the family too, because it was like, it would have been like a quick, it would have been good because I would have got money, but at the same time, I kind of seen the future of like, it would have been detrimental to to the surroundings of my family because I would have been converted in something, into something that wasn't me. And, in a, and then that would have turned into like, me being frustrated, me being like, just not a true artist anymore. But I don't want to keep talking, let's listen to this and then we're going to talk a little bit more. Fearlessness and relentlessness. Persistence. Yeah, yeah, you got to be fearless and relentless. <laughs> and Khaled is both of those. And, and you know, that that type of energy is the energy that cuts through. Right. It, you know, the, you know, you, you, you can't be quiet about it and you got to lean on it at all times. Let me ask a, a, a music question. We talk about music a little bit. Fresh Prince of Will Smith, who is the better rapper? Um, I, well, I think so, somebody said, somebody said, um, Will Smith was a whack rapper, but Fresh Prince was dope. Was dope. Somebody I, said that. Where that come? Yeah, yeah, I heard that somewhere. I heard that somewhere. Yeah, hold up. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. 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 Let me no, you know what? There, there was a, um, there was a, in that same thing. There was a certain amount of rawness mm -hmm. and unbridled creativity during the first part of my career, mm -hmm. and then once I started winning, it did kind of narrow the avenues of what I wanted to do. It was more important to me to win than to be me, you know. And you know, so Man, there was a, a there was a there was a certain amount there was a certain amount the fresh prince was wild and yeah. raw and and um unapologetically right you know himself and then Will Smith got a little bit more polished and um once you line up a couple of number ones in a row, you get that the taste for blood in your mouth. And that that taste um uh sort of destroys the the vastness of your creative mind. I remember hearing you on Rap Radar podcast, and you said that it was a point where you didn't even want to curse. Yeah, well, that was my grandmother. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, that was my grandmother. For yeah. you in comedy, does that work in comedy too? Like, as you get more famous, you can't be as raw. You feel like as you used to be because you're Not, still doing comedy tours. Yeah, I know you got a lot of comments coming out with you, but how does mm -hmm. that work in comedy? 
I don't um I don't compromise my comedy. Yeah. You know, I never did in, in the past. Uh, you know, when I put out You So Crazy, <laughs> they wanted me to water it down and uh, give it an R rating. And I took a, a NC-17 right. just so I could say what I wanted to say. And, uh, you glistening all over your Yeah, yeah, yeah. Body, you know, <laughs> so so I, I don't like to compromise my comedy and I don't, I don't do it today. I just do what I want to do and have fun with it. Now, what's, what's, the difficult? Oh, good. what's the worst decision that both of you guys made in your career? Like, what's one thing you say, damn, I shouldn't have did that? What's one thing you said that, damn, I shouldn't have did that? Yeah. Or what did you pass up? Or something that you regret? I made the Wild Wild West instead of making the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a terrible choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very poor choice. What about you, boys? Uh, I didn't go with him. She read 30 yeah, books in 30 days. Can you imagine a book a day for a month? Amazing. I wanted to find... On the last press junket. Mm-hmm. And, um, for bad boys too. For, bad, bad, boys, for yeah. bad boys, he did it by himself. And now that I see what we towards the end, where Will Smith dad, his dad. Uh, I'm just dad. They, dad, you so silly. I'll that. be doing anything. They, dad, he's just silly, yeah. dad. Pat, you got this. Oh yeah, you got the setup. You do the setup, and then your eyes do this little thing. <laughs> Didn't I? Couldn't I? Couldn't handle it. You know, I was just. I was. You know what? It's um. I I have um, I transitioned from my material world. Journey. All right, here we go. Let me go a little bit back. But this is where he kind of chimes in a little bit more about just kind of like tapping into yourself and trying to be your true self at all times. And in life, and when you're a creative person and you're talented, it's so hard to do that a hundred percent of the time because you got people that's pulling from you and they want what they want from you. So I, I love that he, he brought, you know what I'm saying, he brought this to light. I wasn't man enough to handle that relationship. So I gotta go, I gotta go, guys. So we uh, gotta uh, last, last question. <laughs> well, I, 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 I just saved you, and I, 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 I just saved you, I just saved you. We got a relationship. No, no. Do, do either one of y'all feel like y'all got something to prove? Um, now? No. Yeah, yeah. right now. Mm, I don't feel like I have anything to prove, but I'm not finished. I just feel like I got so much more to do. Cause mm. boy, they give you a lot of shit, like they talk about, a cold streak you're having at the box office, mm -hmm. and you know, it's like one time he was a ladder team, blockbuster, like that something was like really dope. Does that stuff bother you? Like, yeah. you know what? It's um, I I have um, I transitioned from my material world journey um uh, to uh my my inner journey, and not in not in a weird way, just in a way is I got to be okay with me. I can't give a fuck what anybody thinks. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like, I don't even look at the box office anymore. I don't even want that in my mind, comparing myself to what other people are doing. And I had a brief moment there where I got stuck on the rock, you know, and he doing all these billion dollar movies and I got stuck in and that, that animal woke up again. But I was like, you know what? It's like, um, I realized there's never enough. Mm -hmm. You'll never earn enough money. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, if you stick yourself on sex, you'll never have enough sex. You'll never have enough of anything in the material world. So I'm into my space now where I'm letting go of that. And I just got to be good with me. I got to walk around uh, happy and comfortable with me, no matter what the fuck nobody else think. Right. You know, and that's where I'm at right now, kind of detoxing my addiction to numbers and wins and comparison. That's and wild, because you're Will Smith and you're Martin Lawrence. Like, mm -hmm. there's no, you should be in competition with nobody but yeah. yourself. Martin, has Netflix approached you about doing a special or a series? Because uh, you have the tour, you have all the comics, you have yourself. Not, not yet, but I'm sure I could do one if I wanted to with them mm -hmm. and everything. But uh, I don't want to just do one just to do do one. I want to do one that's, that's special, that, that has some... Cause I feel like you need to do a whole thing. I mean, you were Mr. Deaf Comedy Jam. You could have, mm -hmm. you know, bring up some other up and coming comics, mm -hmm. put them on, and do your own mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, and maybe the lit tour. We may bring the lit tour to yeah. Netflix. All right. Well, yeah. we appreciate you guys for joining uh, us. Man, we didn't even get to talk about a lot of good stuff. No, keep doing. No, keep doing what y'all doing. I, Thank you, you know, man. I, I listen yeah, and we watch y'all all the time. Yeah, man. it's a Thank really you, unique voice, and you know, you give voice to people that would be voiceless otherwise you know so just Thank you, so uh, much. you know uh, i love what you're doing and uh i've been dude you you know you got another gear and i'm looking forward to seeing uh, Thank where you, you my go brother to. and you can take I you guys to take that. that ass with you, you take that ass? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a game. you guys can have that it's crazy though is it has the balls yeah. too it's like yeah. that on purpose it's one, yeah. Yeah. you don't want to be no mistake yeah of what, what, what kind of ass it was yeah. 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 how they mold it how they mold it down if you
be sat. Yeah. I invited you to come. You didn't <laughs> So yeah, man, uh, I just want to say my last little piece on this, man. Like, as my wife, her birthday is on Wednesday. I want to say, man, I'm grateful for her to be in my life because as the amount of times I done turned down money, the amount of times I've probably had opportunities to be probably something that I wasn't, but probably would have looked good to you guys. And she's always stuck, you know, stuck by my side and looked out for me, man. And like, you know, just like based off whatever I want to do, she like, I'm, I'm in the car with you. I said, that's a great, you know what I'm saying? I want to acknowledge that. That's a great feeling to have to know whatever move you make, you know what I'm saying? She, she's ride or die. And so, you know, like I said, man, from, from me doing Urban Trademark, my beginning stages, you know, turning down investors, want to invest in doing this and that. But deep down in my heart, knowing that they don't have the best for my interests and then seeing how the same people that was trying to do something with me, they end up doing some shady business with some other people that even introduced me to them, to the people that did want to invest in me. And then going forward and like just recently uh, turning down a lot of money as far as music, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to stay independent and growing with you guys and use, utilizing the internet. And like Mitchie said, man, having ownership Man, it's uh, Will Smith, man, him bringing all these things up and bringing it to light. It definitely made me understand that, you know, when you're, in your, when you're on your journey in life, man, you're going and you are creative. You won't have a lot of people pulling from you because they want to they want to leverage your creativity. And there's nothing wrong like to do business with people and like to grow. But just make sure when you're doing these things and you're aligning yourself with these people, Make sure that they know that you want to stay true to yourself, man. And I felt like I've been, I've been doing that, and it, that, in hindsight, could have like definitely shined a lot of people away. But in hindsight, I feel good every day, though, man. I feel like, you know, the best example is when I go out and sell my, I go out to the streets and I hit the streets. I love hitting the streets, man, and sell my my clothing or whatever I'm selling, even the music, even when I pitch my music or whatever. It's always organic vibes and it's always like, yo, this is dope. This is fire. Like, oh, where you sell this at and this and that. And that's because like, and it goes back to like Martin was saying like, when you really, really want to cultivate something unique and it's not about the money and it's not about, it's just not about none of the BS, it's always going to come out beautiful. I don't know why. I, it's not tainted. I don't know why I believe in that. And so in my journey, I never wanted to like when people want to come and water it down or just want to do it this way or do it that way. I wanted to stay true to the to the uh, the creation, you know what I'm saying? And like and I and, I, and I'm not going to I don't want to y'all under like I don't want y'all to feel like what I'm saying is like, don't do don't hop in the car with somebody. My thing is hop in the car and align yourself with people that believe in what you got going. You know what I'm saying? And not the person that's like. I want to take this and I want to kind of like just basically destroy it and then bring their own vision to it, man. Hop in the car with people that want to get in the car with what you got going and just want to see it blossom, man. And that's kind of like what I wanted to like share from this situation is that it's like, you know, often a lot of times, even I've seen artists, man, the reason why I didn't take that deal for 500 k is because I've been in Atlantic and I've been in situations where I've seen artists sign you know, they was making dope music and it was like at the, there was this dope man that what got them in Atlantic was they was, they brought, they brought the vibes that wanted to sign them and then they signed and the next thing you know, like, like, it's done. Like the energy is gone. They can't create um, money wise and the worst financial situation that they was before. And, you know, it's just, I've just seen it all, man. So. I say that to say, man, hopefully somebody could take this, this reaction that I'm doing and uh, they can just, they can understand that it's not always about the money and the numbers and the clout. A lot of the times, the majority of the times, man, it's just about, man, staying true to yourself, man, and uh, and giving yourself to the world and letting, and letting the world cultivate what they like from you. And you're always going to win, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, just being true to yourself, man. Just to come out the day, to next time. I done more with love.
success. The <laughs> mama vibe with me. The mama high with me. The most fucking fire shit ever. I'm the more with less. I've done more with less. They still watch me busting these checks. I came in the game on my threat, huh? Lil' mama giving me neck, huh? The end of the world is coming. And she just wanted it first. Lil' mama vibe with me, huh? Lil' mama high with me, huh? Man in the mirror, my hero. He helped me center my ego. But I'm still here to compete, huh? I don't do shit for the free, huh? Most of these niggas be leech, huh? Try to take sand from the beach, huh? Keep my name good in the streets, huh? Keep my name good in the streets, uh, yeah. And I did more with less. Yeah. I did more with less. 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 Yeah. Mistakes, can't make the same 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 mistakes. I can't make the same mistakes. I'm free from the drama, I'm free from the lies. They vibing to the music, I'm cutting bad ties. I'm being really something that money can't buy. Same mistakes, can't make the same mistakes, can't make the same mistakes, can't make the same mistakes, won't make the same mistakes, can't make the same mistakes. I won't make the same mistakes. Only way you won't get what you want, put up shots, you won't live if you don't. Niggas hating, but I get what I want. I'm in the trap, they gon' feel when I'm gone. A lot of people, yeah, be praying for me. In the trap, living gracefully. Humble, yeah, cause they paying for me. Humble, yeah, cause they paying the fee.